name is Haas Booty, and the company I represent is Burnaby Manufacturing. Burnaby Manufacturing manufactures a product called a gas plug. The gas plug is used to connect outdoor appliances to your house piping, saving, of course, your portable tanks hauling around in your car and that sort of thing. It hooks it right up to your house piping. The one I'm going to show you today is the GO101 SS, which is stainless steel. And when you first get the product, you want to check that there's no damage. The GO101 SS is stainless steel. The product comes with instructions, a label on the inside showing the capacities and the maximum pressure, and there's a warning tape uh, you'll see on here. It's a yellow warning tape, and that's so that the person that's doing the installation does not leave that plug in there when he leaves. So it's just a, it's a safety precaution. If that plug is in there and somebody turns it on, there will be flow. This plug is to be put on the hose of the appliance. We'll see it mounted here. The gas plug is designed to be put on the wall, on the stub out, either from the bottom or from the back. If you put, come in from the bottom, remove the elbow. If you come in from the back, leave it on. Put it on your stub and slide the box down over top of the back and into a position so that this hole lines up. The clamp secures the product in the box to the main hole. The cover of the box opens up 135 degrees, so it's easy to work with. It also comes with some standoffs. These standoffs come with every stainless steel box. They're an adjustable standoff. You can adjust them from three quarters of an inch to one and a half inch. And you'll use those on uh, particular siding, uh, installations would use them or on a rough wall, a, a, a brick finish or a block finish, stone finish, something that gives it an uneven finish, you'll be able to support these up off the wall. Gas outlet that is identified as a gas so that you can easily see what it is. It's identified easily on the inside to the maximum capacities, which is a half a PSI. And this particular model is 60,000 BTU of natural gas at seven inches water column, which is the standard pressure in the house. And the safety features of the gas plug is that you need to turn the valve off before you can do a disconnect. The other safety feature is inside this assembly is a thermal valve. That thermal valve is designed to shut off the flow of gas if the temperature reaches over 300 degrees. So if there's a mishap on your, with your appliance, It'll shut the flow off. There won't be, it won't be fuel and fire. So now we're going to have a look at the installation uh, of most of the, uh, most of the gas plugs are installed with the same uh, principles, shall we say. So this is a wall section that we're looking at. And this is a piece of piping coming from your main up through the floor. I don't have a floor here, but this is to simulate a floor. And when you come up through the floor, you, you need to have at least a two inch hole there and the idea behind that is to make sure that there's some flexibility in your pipe while you're doing your installation. That's the key. Your distance on how far you go out will be, di will be by this nipple here. That'll govern the distance that you go out. But once you've chosen where that location is and you've drilled the hole through, when you come up through here, you need that flexibility. And that will go for all models. Now we've got a shot from the front, remembering that this pipe needs to move, but when you're allowing for your distance on the nipple, get yourself out about five-eighths to three-quarters of an inch of thread choy, and while you're working on it, you'll pull it out to give you plenty of uh, length to work on it. Take your piping assembly, tighten it. I won't tighten it uh, firmly here but just for demonstration purposes and now you're going to test that. You're going to either soap test it or test it with air as you're required to. Once you know that that joint is tight you're going to put your box over top, open it up, put it over top, 
centering your cushion clamp to the center screw. Put the screw through and that secures the whole assembly and box to the wall. At that point, you're going to straighten it out. I don't know if it's exactly straight because I'm looking at it from the side, but you're going to straighten it out before you put the other screws in. And that gives you your installation. It's as simple as that. Remember not to leave the male plug in the outlet. Now we're going to go to a couple of other, now if you're going to use the standoffs, the adjustable standoffs that come with the stainless steel box, if you're going to use them, you'll need to allow for that on your nipple. So in this case, we had 5 eighths of an inch out. If you want to stand it off the wall by 3 quarters, obviously you need to add 3 quarters to that distance. Again, you still need the flexibility after you get to that distance. Here we have a shot with the standoffs, the very, very same installation using the three-quarter standoffs. And we have one here for siding installations with a backing block. And this goes on the sheet, the rough sheet. This is your finished surface, and this is your rough sheet. 